That's the first thing I think. I need to make that far. Okay lang pong magpahinga, okay lang pong ramdamin yung sakit, pero huwag na huwag nang bibitawan yung pangarap niyo. Kung tatanungin kung kaya kong higitan, kailangan kong tanggapin na kaya ko. Sports fans, we are excited to have with us our next guest. Ang dami niyang mga medals. She is the 2016 Rio Olympic silver medalist in weightlifting. She is a gold medalist in the 2018 Asian Games and 2019 Sea Games gold medalist. Of course, our very powerful weightlifter, Miss Heidelin Diaz. Heidelin, uh, welcome to Play It Right. Kinito Hanso and I are here, and thank you so much for your time. Hi po. Hi Miss. So Hi Delin, the last time nag-usap tayo was right after the Asian Championships. Ang dami mong sinabi after that, ang dami mong realizations. Kumusta ka na? What adjustments did you make to your training? Give us an update. After ng Uzbekistan, nakapag-training at nakita ko yung improvement ng training ko. So ayun, yung body weight medyo okay naman. Hindi na siya problema. As of now, prepared na. Kailangan na lang kumbinsihin ang sarili. Ito, uh, ready na at uh, kayang manal. Meron ka bang specific na we work on? I know you were trying to work on your uh, block power snatch ba? For the first one month ng month ng training, sobrang hirap. Twice a day yung training, tapos ang daming reps and sets. Every week din, may session ako with sports psychologist kasi kailangan ko talaga i-train yung sarili ko and to do more in training not only physically but mentally. Every Saturday, ginagawa ko yung best then yung back squat, deadlift, medyo maraming set and reps then pulling ganun din. Ay Dilin, i-review natin yung Olympic history mo. First time sa Olympics, 58 kilograms. Second time, 58 kilograms. Tapos sa third Olympics mo, sa Rio 2016, bumaba ka sa 53 kilograms, nakakuha ka ng silver medal. Ngayon naman, sa darating na Tokyo Olympics, now you're going to be competing sa 55 kilograms. Anong kaibahan? At uh, malaki bang adjustment para sa'yo? Siyempre, nung 58, medyo uh, bata-bata pa ako. Mahilig ako sa fast food, mahilig ako sa lahat ng <laughs> soft drinks, lahat nun. Then, nung bumaba ako sa 58, siyempre yung diet nun, sobrang salat, tapos talagang yung diet sobra-sobra talaga. Then, ngayon, 55, ang mahirap kasi yung kalaban, siyempre malakas na sila. Nung unang laro ko sa 55, 55, um, ninth, uh, rank 9 ako. After 4 months, 5 months, nakapag-build ng strength, nakapag-build ng technique. Uh, naging top 5 ako sa world. So, dahan-dahan nakapag-build sa 55. And for me, mas advantage ang 55 kasi yung 58 na lakas ko, mas nagagawa ko ngayon. Hi, Dilin. Balikan natin yung Uzbekistan na competition last April. Nakakuha ng first prize si Liao. Palagay ko siya yung one of the main contenders sa darating na Olympics. Nag fourth place ka, ang snatch mo was 94 at yung clean and jerk mo was 118. Sa tigin mo ba yung mga nagawa ni Liao sa Uz- sa Uzbekistan? Kaya mong higitin? Uh, nung Uzbekistan, sa totoo lang, hindi ko nagawa yung best ko. Hindi yon intentionally. Kaya lang, pagdating ko nung sa laro, akala ko magaling na. Lakas na ako, ready na ako. Nung pagdating doon, iba pala pag wala kang laro for 15 months. So, nanibago ako. Grabe yung nervyos. Maganda rin yun. Hindi nila nakita na hindi ako masyadong malakas. Kung tatanungin kung kaya kong higitan, si kailangan kong tanggapin na kaya ko. Kaya lang it takes time. Siguro, ngayon, 30 days before my competition. So, by the time na mag-compete ako, siguro, kine-claim ko na sa sarili ko, naniniwala na ako. Uh, Heidelin, sabi mo nga, no, nung lumaban ka sa Uzbekistan, sa Asian Championship, it was more than a year na hindi ka nag-compete. So, medyo ninervyos ka when you, when you got up there to do your lift. Kahit akala mo, ready ka na. So, now, going into the Olympics, Do you think you've gotten over that yung kaba? Diba? Totoo lang, sabi nga ni um, Doc Karen, ang sports psychologist ko, yung kaba, yung pressure nandyan yan. 
it's how you will handle it. Kung paano makontrol. And, at sabi din niya na kung walang pressure, walang kaba, boring yung journey mo po itong talk. Kaya tumatawa lang ako. Pero sa totoo lang, medyo mahirap. Kasi syempre yung expectation, yeah. medyo mataas-taas sa akin. At parang every time na sinasabi mag-gold ka, parang nahirapan na ako. Parang, pero ngayon, tumatawa na lang ako kasi kailangan kong tanggapin na ganun nga. Ganun talaga yung pressure. And may session ako every week with sports psychologist, then may yoga din ako. Wow. So, doon ako nag, um, alam mo yun, para makapag-relax, para makapag-meditate at uh, to stay connected with him, with God, and with myself. I didn't fast forward tayo. Tokyo Olympics. Walang spectators, iba yung environment. Nandun pa din yung kaba na yung virus, yung pandemia is still around. Um, anong feeling mo, no? heading towards uh, the Tokyo Olympics. At paraming nga nagsasabi, this could be a potential super spreader. Anong feeling mo? Siyempre, yung feeling ko na matutuloy na yung Olympics sa wakas, so sobrang saya. Pero siyempre, kinakabahan din. Pag, lalong-lalo na kasi everyday uh, may test kami. Tapos pag alis namin dito three days before, nas- magte-test din kami. Pagdating doon, three days din. So medyo mahirap yung protocol. Pero... Kinakabahan man ako, pero basta gawin ko yung part ko as an athlete and as a human na maging part ng ano may, pag, pag-stop ng pag-spread ng virus. Hindi pwedeng na mas tayo o matakot. Kailangan natin harapin ito. Hi, Dilin, sa Tokyo, meron kang kasama na partner. Maraming sports fans, hindi nila inakala na magkakaroon ng second weightlifting bet ang Pilipinas. Anong masasabi mo tukul kay Erlin Ando? Ang chances niya and anong advice na ibibigay mo sa kanya? She's, uh, I'm sure she's nervous but also very excited. Para sa akin kasi pag first time, um, yung advice ko sa kanila is enjoy the moment. Kasi hindi ka every time na makapaglaro sa Olympics. So enjoy the moment, enjoy the preparation, enjoy the tears, yung prepar- uh, yung paghihirap sa training. Kahit unexpected yung pagpapasok niya sa Olympics, alam kong deserve niya yon. Pinaghirapan niya, pinag, uh, nag-training siya. Kung ano man yung maging result nito, use it as um, uh, lesson. Or yung experience niya, use it as lesson para makapag uh, move forward siya for the next Olympics. Kasi may three years pa to prepare and hopefully na mas gagalingan niya sa next Olympics. So, uh, imagine mo no, apat na Olympics no. You were 17 then, you're 29 now. Paano, how would you describe yourself yung pag-grow mo as an athlete and as a as a person? Siguro i-describe ko yung pagpasok ng pag-open ng door yung 2008, nag-open yun ng door para makita ko kung ano yung Olympics noong 2008. Kasi talagang wala akong alam kung ano yung Olympics. 2012, doon ko nakita na ito pala mga kalaban ko. May chances pala. Kahit di ko nagawa, pero marami ako na meet. Tapos noong 2016, doon nung time na uh, masasabi ko na nasa klase na ako. Maganda ng grado ko, kaya nanalo ako ng, ng silver medal sa Olympics. Ngayon naman, siguro i-describe ko yung um, 2020 Tokyo Olympics ay din lister ganun no pang din lister na pang pang graduation na wala ganun no pang graduation da well hi dilin matanong ko sa iyo no um you will be making history sa Tokyo you will be the first and only female to make it to four olympics there is one other filipino athlete who made it to four, four olympics si Cesar Jaime who's in shooting but uh he was a male you will be the first female. Tapos, we also have an Olympian who made it to five Olympi- Olympics. Wow. He was a shooter named Martin Gison. You will be making history, Heidelin, ang tungtung mo dun sa entablado to hoist your first uh, um, um, attempt. You will already be making history. Um, but I want to ask you, ano bang mas ha- mahalaga sa yo in terms of significance? No? Yung to be the first female four-time Filipina Olympian or when you were the flag bearer of the Philippines nung 2012 London Olympics? 
Uh, para sa akin, mas special ang pagiging flag bearer ng 2012 London Olympics. Uh, kasi syempre, iba yung feelings na ikaw ang nagwagayway ng flag doon sa uh, opening ceremony. Malaking bagay yung sa akin. Then, yung yung fourth time na Olympics, medyo history siya para sa akin. Pero iba yung nandun ka talaga eh. You know, as a tayong mga atleta, gusto natin na in action talaga. Nandun tayo, may may resulta, ganun tayo eh. So, mas importante sa akin nung 2006, uh, 12, although medyo naging pangit yung performance ko, pero magandang uh, experience yun. Well, Haydalin, this will most likely be your last Olympics, although we're not ruling out Paris. Um, for you to be able to make it to five Olympics, that would be amazing. And that would be a super effort. Um, what is ahead for Heidi Lynn Diaz after the Tokyo Olympics? After Tokyo Olympics, syempre, um, gusto ko din kunin ang diploma sa, sa college. Then after that, SEA Games. Then baka Asian Games. Then after that, titignan ko kung kaya ko pang maglaro sa Paris. Kasi syempre, kailangan kong tignan kung kaya ng katawan ko at ng performance ko. Sa ngayon, masaya ako sa performance ko. Well, thank you very much, Aydilin. And we're looking forward to an excellent performance. Whatever happens in Tokyo, you will always be in the heart of every Filipino. Marami, marami salamat, Aydilin. We're so proud of you and so happy that you pushed through and that you're persevering. And we're super, super cheering and praying for you. And we're believing with you for your best performance. Thank you very much, Haidilin. Maraming maraming salamat sa'yo for gracing our program, Play It Right TV. And uh, we hope you catch us on YouTube and on Facebook. Play It Right TV is here for all Filipino athletes. Maraming salamat, Haidilin. Maraming salamat po. Play It Right would like to thank our sponsor who made this episode possible. ASICS has partnered with the Philippine Olympic Committee to be the official delegation outfitter and footwear of the Philippine delegation to the Tokyo Olympics. Of course, ASICS wants our athletes to look good, feel good, and compete at their best. You too can proudly wear the colors of the Philippine flag with special Olympic-themed merchandise and shoes exclusively available at ASICS stores and online. You can check out the link below for more information. Well, wow, you know, you can just feel the adrenaline already now from Heidi Lynn, diba? you when she, when she, you know, takes that deep breath, you can almost see her like on that stage about to put her hands on the bar and just really focusing on lifting that weight and winning for the Philippines. Yeah, I, I, I really, I really admire Heidi Lynn because she's come a long way, Kinito. I mean, from from I remember the time when she was just one of the youngest to make it to the Olympics at age 17, 18, when uh, somebody mentioned that there was this bright new sports star that we had in weightlifting. I was like, wow, who's this Heidi Lynn Diaz? And now, of course, she's one of the veterans and one of the most accomplished athletes of the Philippines. I mean, just getting this far is already amazing. And having to, to having stayed with this, all the heat up of weightlifting training, the mental force that you need, the mental tenacity that you need, it just really shows you what what kind of a tough woman she is. And of course, she's asked for our prayers. All our prayers and energy and force are behind her in this Olympic bid and hoping for a gold. So my main takeaway, Diane, was uh, the impression that she gave of her love of country. I was so impressed. When I asked you the question, what meant more to her? The flag bearer role that she had in 2012, or whether she will become part of Philippine history right. by, uh, by becoming the first female to participate in four Olympics. And I thought honestly that she would say, you four time Olympics, because that's a record. That's yes. history. But she said what was more important to her was raising the flag of the Philippines in that parade, being the flag bearer, waving that flag. I thought that that spoke volumes of why she's sacrificing, why she's doing all her efforts to bring honor to our country. It's that nationalist spirit that's keeping her going 
that's moving her forward. And I, I was just so impressed by that answer because it completely floored me. That is what makes Heidi Lynn Diaz a great athlete. Saludo.